I feel so sad, confused, hopeless, and I've spent weeks researching this and I'm no closer to understanding than when I began. Why is it so difficult to understand these different types of databases? What is going on in here? This place is a mess. I've been researching the types of databases and I haven't covered any ground yet. You need an expert on types of databases. Lucky for you, I am the expert, professionally trained by Mrs. Prinsloo. Let's get started. By definition, a relational database is a database structured to recognize relations between stored items of information. In this database, one that holds students and class information. Information gathered about students would be student ID, student name, and what operating system they use. For classes, we have class ID, class name, and lecturer. A student table will look as follows. The only unique key would be student ID. There could be two students who use the same operating system. Similar to the classes table, the unique key would be student ID. If you look at the two tables, we would like to relate them to just focusing on unique key. We can make connections by creating a new table that connects two tables. For example, one student can be enrolled in many classes, which makes this complex if there were hundreds of students and classes. In enrollment table, there could be many students, therefore, there is a need for enrollment ID as a unique key. An object-oriented database is a database management system that supports the modeling and creation of data as objects. An object-oriented database can store complex data, whereas a relational database can only store simple data. A relational database can store data such as student ID and student name, whereas an object-oriented database can store hypermedia such as graphics, videos, and geographical satellite information. In a practical example, think of a garage as the database and your car as the data. In a relational database, you'd be able to drive the, into the garage and park it until you'd like to use it again. Whereas in an object-oriented database, you'd have to disassemble the car and store it on different shelves in the garage. What happens the next time you'd like to use the disassembled car? You'd have to find a mechanic who could speak the correct language so that the car would be fully functional again after being reassembled, compared to a car which you just need to be switched on with no special language needed. Another advantage would be that data can be accessed at a more granular level without affecting other objects. In a relational database, the entire table would be looked at to update one row. In an object-oriented database system, you'd access an object at any level. No SQL database is a database which provides a mechanism for storage and retrieval of data that is modeled in means other than the tabular relations used in a relational database. No SQL is focused on providing scalability, performance, and high availability. Therefore, the downfall is that it is less functional compared to a relational database. When comparing no SQL to a relational database, there are many limitations, such as no joins, no updating and inserting data, and no constraints. No SQL will be used when great quantities of data approval is important. Storing relationships between elements is not important. Dealing with growing elements, Twitter posts, and blogs. Data is not structured, or structure is changing with time. No SQL has many different data types, such as key value storage, document based storage, column based storage, and graph based. A data warehouse is a system used for reporting and data analysis. Like all databases, it has its advantages and disadvantages. Some advantages being you will be able to retrieve the data quickly, disadvantages being that there is data redundancy, which means you need more storage. Within an organization, you will have operation systems which will all have a properly normalized database. To not mess with the operational data, you have to make a copy and put it in a staging area, where data is made into the same format, which is then transferred to a database warehouse. Specific sections ask different questions, therefore data marks are created. These are smaller data warehouses which can allow faster responses. In a relational database, the tables and joins are complex since they are normalized. This is done to reduce redundant data and to save storage space. Whereas in data warehouse, the tables and joins are simple since they are denormalized. This is done to reduce the response time for analytical queries. Relational modeling techniques are used for relational database management systems. Modeling techniques are used for the data warehouse design. Relational databases are optimized for the write operations. Whereas database warehouse are optimized for read operations. 
relation database have low performance for analyst queries, whereas database warehouses are high performance for analytical queries.